this your name? Mass Barnkopf from Kaiser Power Electronics. What is thy quest? To make lightning. What is your favorite color? I don't know, blue? So today we are talking about all that, um, let's say, weird stuff that did not quite fit any of the previous videos with kind of mechanical stuff, uh, something with gas, with fluids, um, some measurements, uh, building a Faraday suit, for example. Why am I going all Cody on you in this chainmail? Well, it is because I wanted a Faraday suit so I could stand inside my four meter long sparks from my huge Tesla coil. But it also turns out that just wearing a hood, gloves and just the upper part of a chain made like this actually weighs around 15 to 20 kilograms. So I'm scrapping that idea totally. During this whole cleanup, I really did consolidate all my parts into these uh, yeah, different sized boxes. And as you can see, it went on and became much more smooth, sorted. And I actually freed up like four shelves. And all that stuff I removed from here. Let's take a look at that. I also uh, refound some of these. Uh, these are actually huge rain gutter holders for uh, large industrial buildings and such. But I thought that if you took six of these and mounted them in a circle, you could mount some tubing all around and you have a nice ring top load. Another pretty funny thing here is a Danfoss. HE 8.0 heat exchanger, which uh, has uh, the large ports here and then the cooling ports. And then it has a huge copper jacket inside to, yeah, work as a heat exchanger. I found this and it's all brand new and I just couldn't, yeah, dream about seeing that getting scrapped. Then here I have some um, geared DC motors. Now this comes from a floor washer. See, it's 100 watt, 24 volt DC, 200 RPM. And uh, I actually thought about using these for a, uh, yeah, maybe small toy car for my kids. Or maybe build some robot, uh, like in Robot Wars, just use these for the uh, traction, just for the fun of it. Not really participating in Robot Wars since we do not have that in Denmark. Um, some small weird DC motors, a uh, motor and frequency drive here that I used for my coiled winding setup when I built my uh, large Tesla coil. And then down here I have four sets of these uh, yeah, li linear bearings, so linear guiding rail here with the linear be roller bearing blocks uh, and I actually saved these four to uh, build a CNC machine or uh, some kind of yeah homemade because this is just some large sturdy blocks came from some um, meat packaging machines that I uh, once tore down so here are some of the pumps and yeah gas accessories that I found laid all around some mass flow meter uh, this is for co2 some small uh, vacuum pumps uh, with relays this actually comes from uh, printers where you have these uh, small suction cups grabbing paper um, so actually a nice little dry running uh, vacuum pump but not that uh, powerful also found uh, what I would assume is some kind of a gas burning head with a high voltage ignition feed in. I wonder if this is actually a flamethrower of some sort, but maybe from some uh, gas furnace, gas fired heater, not quite sure. And here's some of the, uh, the vacuum parts from the uh, paper grabber, so useful for building some small uh, robots to play with, with the kids. That's for sure. Also some uh, pressure measurement for, uh, for gases. And if I ever installed some kind of a sprinkler system. Uh, some of the different uh, circular microwave magnetron magnets that are saved through the time. Some really huge one from those um, industrial microwave ovens. Just fun to play with and not... Get away. Not really suited for... Um, 
yeah, using while wearing a iron chainmail. That's oh, that went there. And for a video I want to do later on, then there is also a nice large neodymium magnet here, 140 kilograms of uh, force. And that's a pretty powerful magnet, I would say. And I did not handle this yet while wearing a chainmail, but what could go, what could possibly go wrong? At least the uh, gloves are, what do you call it? Braided copper or brass. Oop. Yep, that uh, gets stuck all right. <laughs> okay. I did not think this through. That's like embedding itself. Ah! <clears throat> okay, that goes back in the box where it is safe and sound. Just like that. I have also round up a good amount of uh, old enclosures, some nice 80s brown style here, 19 inch rack, equipment, some uh, antenna outside, mounting boxes like this one, watertight, and all your very nice old school like the print master and all kinds of nice enclosures. That Maybe still have some uh, smaller racks and built-in power supply. Very reusable. Definitely worth keeping if you find those. This concludes all the isolation videos. This will be the last one. I am resuming Shock back to time. my normal high voltage project videos. So until next time. Stand clear. See you.